right hey there guys Whew. welcome to another video this is a special one for me uh, every year I try to go out and make a video on my last day of school um, I'm a teacher and the last day of school is super special for me um, it's the start of the summer and so tonight I decided hey I'm gonna go out and catch some fish and I thought to myself I want to challenge myself and I don't usually do this, but I brought out my fly rod tonight and I decided let's go crank some bass on the fly. So this is the intro, um, but let me tell you guys, we get it done. So far I've been fishing with a streamer today, catching some nice fish. Right now I'm going to head out because it's a little bit, it's, a, it's starting to get a little bit into evening. I'm going to get my top water out and we're going to get some top on top as well. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I am not an expert fly fisherman, um, but I know enough to catch fish, which makes me dangerous. <laughs> All right, guys, I uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the start of your summer. Um, my trips are starting up. Well, they've already started up. I'm, I'm, t I'm going out and We've been doing river trips all every weekend for like the last month and a half, maybe. Um, and it's been awesome. It has absolutely been awesome. We've been smashing some fish. Um, all right, without further ado, let's go catch some more fish on the fly. I'm going to show you guys really quickly what I'm fishing here. Right now, woo, that is the fly that we are fishing with right now. This thing has been getting it done. All right, let's get rolling. There we go. What do we have here? Oh, nice big fish. That's what we have. Ooh. Oh wow, looks like a small mouth. There we go. Look that one right there oh wow she's a good fish I wasn't so sure I was gonna catch anything nice I saw her moving in the shallows and she just got cranked there she goes Finally got one, that's nice. I thought this fly would work. I mean, it's not the most... It's not the most beautiful fly ever, but it... There we go! Again? Oh! -ho -ho. Yeah, boy. I just need to find a little bit of slack water and some shade. That's what, the, that's what I need to find. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Man. Smallies are such fighters. So, it's now two fish. That one's a titch smaller but she was just equal fighter wow so what I'm fishing with right now is that thing right there that is a CK bait fish I got it tied on with a non-slip loop up to this versolator because I am fishing actually a floating line 
So I wanted it to sink a bit. All right, let's see if we can get a couple more. Oh, nice fish just surfaced right down there. I got a feeling I'm gonna pull more than just two fish out of this hole. Oh, that was not a fish, that was a rock, but still. There we go. Oh, ho, ho. I had a fish right there. That was a fish. That was a fish right there. There we go. Oh, I saw that take right in front of me. Oh, ho, ho. I saw that take right in front of me. <laughs> oh, this is getting silly. This is getting silly. That one's even smaller, but that was so cool. All right, guys, so since I'm catching some fish, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here. I got this CK bait fish on right here, which is kind of a, a pattern. I'm primarily a gear fisherman, and, and this looked so much to me like a zoom fluke that I just had to try it out. And so far, it swims like a zoom fluke, and it catches fish like a zoom fluke. Uh, I'm throwing this on a Cabela's, uh, what is this? This is an RLS Cabela's 8 weight. So I'm not using some crazy nice gear. You know, this is, this is, oh, there was a fish right there. Literally right here. There we go. Oh. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, that's four fish in like five casts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is silly. I was just telling you guys what I'm using. All right, so I think we have determined this fly just straight catches fish. This fly is straight nasty. Straight nasty. Alright, look at that. Straight nasty is what we're going to call that fly. See it? Oh, man. So we're now up to, I think that's four fish we've caught now. And two of them have been literally right in front of me. So I'm just stripping this back in. Not too fast, not too slow, just kind of how you'd fish as a, a, a fluke. It's been 90 degrees today and it was just hot, hot, hot. And it's, I couldn't really get any fish. I, I had a, a follow earlier, but the fish wouldn't commit. And so now that I'm Oh my gosh, I cannot cast to save my life. Okay. Now that I am uh, in this shade, it seems that this is what I needed all along. It's just that shade. All right. Feeling like another fish is coming up here real soon. I'm moving into slightly deeper water. So I'm going to be stripping this a little bit slower, probably. I want to be fishing top water right now. But can't always fish top water. Sometimes you gotta try something else. I'm thinking maybe in that shade up there, we'll start catching some more fish. Possibly between these shades, I'm not sure. A couple moments ago, a fish, smallmouth rose out there, took something on the surface.
Here we go. Nice. There we go. That's number five. There we go. I think we can definitively say this fly catches fish. Okay. Dude, they're simply bruisers. Check her out, man. Look at that fish right there. Wow. Gosh, they're lovely. All right. Kind of thought we'd catch another one right here. And we did. There we go. <laughs> oh, that was a sweet one too. I think this might be a rock bass. <laughs> That's number six tonight. Number six. Man, this fly just seems to be so effective. little rocky right there so i think it's important for you guys if you come out and you try to fish something like this it's it's actually really simple you know get a get a rod from cabela's you don't need that much money you know grab one of these ck bait fish the important part though is that when you're stripping these things in we're not trout setting so you're not lifting straight up like this make sure that you strip set so i'll show you guys what that looks like so imagine a fish is coming in when you feel something pull, you strip. You strip into that fish, um, and that's gonna be a much more effective, um, get better penetration than if you were to just lift up as if you were fly fishing for trout. Um, and that strip set is also effective if, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That strip set is also effective if you happen to run into a pike or a muskie, um, you got to strip set into those fish. So this right here now looks like I, uh, makes it looks like, like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Which let's be honest, when it comes to fly fishing, I am not the best fly fisherman. There we go. Here we go, that is, oh, it's now fish. Is that our sixth fish? So again, we're just, we're just stripping this back kind of like this. And when you feel something, you pull like that. And that's pretty much how you fly fish. There we go, fish. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, that's a pike or a muskie, probably a pike. Okay, don't bite me off. I don't want to lose this fly. All right, that's a pike. That's a pike. Come on. We're going to get her in. Looks like she's hooked really nicely. I don't think she's going to cut me off. Come on, sweetie. Right. Not a bad pike, actually. Check the thing out. So that's now to our seventh fish. Seventh fish on three species. All right. So we are just cranking fish. Now, every time you catch a toothy fish, you gotta, you have to check for any abrasion. Any abrasion at all means you're going to have to retie, but it looks like I'm good right here. All right. 
All right, guys, so let's see if we can catch some more fish. So again, we're just stripping in nice and easy. I think that might've been three fish on three casts, which actually it was three separate species on three casts, which is potentially something I've never done on the fly before. Three casts, three species. That was a rock bass. That was a smallmouth and a pike. That was so cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fish down another 50 yards or so. And then I am going to, uh, probably gonna switch, switch back to, or not switch back to, I'm gonna switch over to top water. Shadows are starting to lengthen and I feel like the fish are gonna be more willing to take top water. And I'm actually gonna fish back through the water I just came down through. So I know there's still fish in there. Come on, sweetie. Wow. No! I lost her. That's okay. I'm gonna count that as a catch. You guys cool counting that as a catch? I'm gonna count it as a catch. I, uh, I like this fly so much. I, um, bought a whole heck of them. Heck of a lot of them from Tight Lines and Mad River, uh, Mad River Outfitters. I have them in this yellow. The one I was fishing was that chartreuse right here. Like that chartreuse, but I only got them in this white pattern. I, I, um, I cranked them. It might have been last week or maybe two weeks ago. I was cranking them on this white pattern. There we go. <laughs> there we go. There we go. That's the small yeah I was looking for right there. All right. Let's get her in here. Come on. There we go. Finally. Got one on top. Well, we got two on top now. There we go. <sighs> So earlier when I came through here, I, you know, I ruined these logs cause I, I got in there and I, uh, I got tangled and snagged. So I came back up, I waited about 45 minutes, came back up and I knew there were fish in there. I got two topwater bites and they missed both times, but I came up here walking farther and I got a different angle. Sometimes you just need a different angle at a location. And, uh, and yeah, she came out and crushed it. Got that fish to bite twice now. Both times I lost him. There it goes. See that? Do 
There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, nice fish. Oh boy. All right. All right. <coughs> Look at that one. Beautiful topwater fish right there. Just stunning. Just stunning. <coughs> I wasn't even paying attention. This might be the biggest bass yet. Oh my gosh. I was not paying attention. Wow. Check her out in the water. She's huge. She's a bruiser. Come here, sweetie. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a chunk. That one might be 18, 19, 20 inches right there. Biggest fish of the day. Biggest fish of the day, wow. There she goes. Wow. That was so special. Oh. And this is a big thank you to Mr. Ewing for the frog. This frog is getting all kinds of used. Look at that, look at that. Nice. Man. I was screwing around, I actually cast out. I wasn't paying attention. That fish just came up and hit it while I was literally doing other things. <laughs> oh my gosh. The biggest fish of the day came on the least active presentation. Also in like 10 inches of water and on the sunny side, everything else was over there on the shade. I know there's a big fish in here. There is, there is. She'll come back, come on. There we go. Oh. I was kind of hoping for one a little bit bigger than that. Gotta be honest. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, come on. Oh my gosh, is this a rock bass? Are you kidding me? That's not what I was fishing for.
that's not what I was fishing for. Well, I'll take it as a topwater fish, but that was not the species I was looking for. Oh my golly. All right, guys, so my three hours on the water is coming to an end. Had a great time tonight. I think I have up to 10 fish on the fly. Um, seven of them, I think, on the streamer, and I believe three on the top water. And I've missed, oh man, I've missed probably four, five, six possible bites top water. Um, so it was pretty, it was a pretty good evening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, this is kind of a quick little adventure, a mini adventure, if you will. Uh, not on the raft today, not on the kayak, just out wading in the rivers. This is the first time this year I have wet waded. You can see I am completely soaked, but it was totally worth it. Um, some awesome fish. And I actually saw some smallmouth spawning. Uh, they're on beds right now. So make sure not to target those fish because um, we want to let those, those fish uh, reproduce and, you know, have some more uh, little baby smallmouth for us to catch. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, catch, release, wander. I'll see you guys in the next one.